So hello, today I'm going to show you something, not the inside of our garden this time, but the outside of our garden. The fence, we installed a new fence, well in fact it's not really finished yet, but last year we had just similar to this, chicken wire or cattle fence panel around the, the garden, around our garden. But since we installed our greenhouse, that was end of September sometime last year, so it disturbed the, the placement of our fence. It, it got broken and we had to expand it because to include the greenhouse this time. And for the most part of our garden this year, we didn't have a fence. So some of my vegetables that are growing in the garden, they've been eaten by deer, the kong kong, the water spinach, the green beans, and all the leafy green vegetables including the sweet potatoes they've been topped off by the deer that just come and go because they didn't have we didn't have a fence and so my husband and my children they worked hard just to put this fence around this time it's going to be electrified fencing we have electrified double fencing double fencing means the lower side here this side here is shorter than this side here so because deer they they don't have depth perception they don't know how to to distinguish between uh shallower or higher <laughs> something like that the fencing so the first part of the fence is lower and the second one which is the inside part is higher and this is generated the electricity is generated by the solar sun power so we have this solar cells here the solar panel you just have to turn it on but we haven't turned it on yet we just installed it here because we're not finished and we d we have this orange ribbons to show that hey there's a fence there so that's for human for humans to to look at and for the animals to visually see that oops there's something there and we don't know if it's dangerous or what because there's two different fence so that's the that's the point even our dogs they probably can't go under or in between the the lines the strings because they will be electrified these will be live wires when we turn it on and so this part here is not quite done it's not finished yet but the idea is to fully fenced fully electrified around the 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 garden so that deer and other smaller animals the ones that can easily go through they will be deterred and they will not be able to come and go in our garden also on this side here as you can see there are it's double double fence there are wires the inside part is higher the outside part is lower you can see the fence see like that sorry it's dusk so it's kind of hard to see this is the other part of the garden. So basically we expanded the the fence. This was the original fence and we added this part here. So probably three feet. So this was the original post, the original fence, and we added another three feet. So it did, it did expand the fence area. And so we are working on the last stretch from this side here to the other side the, the other corner that's where our main entrance is going to be and we're still working on it my husband and my children are working on the last part here this is for a gate latch uh-huh so that's what they do they put the what is this this is the gate yeah mm -hmm. so we will have three gates this time last time a oh, four last time our using the cattle fence the chicken wire cattle fence um, we didn't have a lot of gates. We only had one, which was on that side. Oh, we had two. Was it two? two. Oh, where was the other one? Okay, but that one there, we really didn't yeah. use it much. Yeah. But yeah, this was that one over there was the main gate. So we had two last year, the, the previous gate. This one, we are putting four gates. So this is what you can do. See? And that's what it will be. And just put it back. Okay. Mm -hmm. this, this is a, an end run. That's what mm -hmm. that is. Here. Mm -hmm. Or you use it on corners. Mm -hmm. The reason you could take the wire from here, go here, and keep going there, but we have a gate here, so that's why it's not doing that. We're going to mm -hmm. have something that will connect the wire here, 
over to this side where the gate latch is not. Uh -huh. So is the gate going to be electrified? No. Yes, the outside one will. Uh, the, the inside could be if we need it to be. Uh -huh. Okay, the outside is definitely an electrified fence. Mm -hmm. So what does it mean when it's electrified? It means that any creatures, any humans that will touch, touch the, the wire fence and be on the ground. And be on, and on the ground. The be on, on the ground? Yeah, and be touching the ground. And if you touch the ground and you touch this, then you will be zapped. You will be, you will be electrocuted. No, lot, no, just shocked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> electrocuted means you die. From... <laughs> you are mildly electrocuted. <laughs> okay. Anyway, you will be shocked. You will be zapped, and you won't like it. <laughs> if so. <laughs> okay. Now what are you putting? Just the same ones. Okay. So hopefully, we will finish this fence this week and we will have the electricity go live so now to think of uh to remember that we're not supposed to touch the water <laughs> last it will, remind you. it will remind us and also the orange will tell you that oh this is the height of the the first fence it will remind you not to touch hopefully you will remember You just have to twist it, keep twisting it, keep yeah, twisting it. Just screw. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, now to put the wire and connect it to the handle. It's they put rod. this here on rod. in a rod on the rod to hold the spool. So that's what it makes it easy to unroll. So have a handle here. This has a spring. It's actually inside the handle here. This is a rubber. So it's not hard plastic, so it's not going to just get brittle. So you can see it springs out. Mm -hmm. Let me grab it with the pliers here. See? So the wire goes there. And I will wrap it around the, this wire here once it's over connected over here. And I'm going to be doing tension. <laughs> You're going to do tension. So okay. Tension is that they're pulling the wire tight so I can wrap it. Otherwise, ah, I can't wrap it. Good job. And so I just wrap My it around. Hurts. You need a you need gloves. I don't have gloves. Yes, I do. You won't be able to hold it with these gloves. True, it will slide right. Unless unless it's a rubber glove. Mm -hmm. Then you got super mad right. You know your job. You know your task. I'm You're holding it there. Uh huh. Okay, that side is done. Sproingy. Cut it to length. Cut it to length. Because it's going to go right here. Mm -hmm. It's going to fling too. Careful. Yep, I know it. Okay. Clip it on the very top one. Can you reach it? Okay. okay. I can reach it. Alright. I'm going to check the tension on it. Okay. The reason I do this is if it's too tight, I won't be able to loosen. Okay, so it's it's fine. You want it to be tight, but not super tight. Tight, but not too tight. And now that I've verified it's good, I just wrap the wire, the end of it, helps hold it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The last part, I can't, it's stiff enough, I can't do it with bare hands. We are using aluminum wire instead of steel because it will never rust. I don't like having to redo my fence if I don't have to. Okay, that's good to know. Now you know that it, we're using aluminum steel. You can use galvanized steel. It is It's available. more expensive. Mm, it's probably cheaper than aluminum. But it's, it is used, farms will use it, but I prefer to use the aluminum. Okay, that's one. Okay, next, next stop. 
This will be for the gate. And the rest is just easy, right? So, I'm assuming. Yeah. Oh, okay, tension. The tension boy. I don't like it. <laughs> but it it's. Hurts. <laughs> you, you can use your sleeves. Well, my hands have better grip. Uh, because you, your hands have callus now. Uh, my hands have callus too. Okay. Yeah, it's pulling the. Ouch. Look at that. It's dirty even. Okay, so part two of this will be the part two of this video will be turning on or activating the electricity using the solar. This will be a solar solar powered electric fence. Okay, that's all for now. Just letting you know that this is what we've been doing to protect our garden from intruders. We do have a lot of animals here, so we need to do something. We have to dominate over the animals that try to steal our food. We put a lot of work and effort in our garden, and then here comes the deer just eating freely on our vegetables. What, dessert? I, yeah, we felt so devastated, and... But we have to do something. We don't believe in we don't, we don't believe in killing the animals, but if they get into our property and they accidentally get zapped and kill themselves in the process of getting into our garden, yeah, it's not our fault, but we do try to protect our food. Okay. Thanks for watching. Uh, I will update and make another video of part 2. Part 2 for